some paths must eventually cross. And as two of the greatest fighters in the UFC kept dominating their opposition, it was inevitable that this moment would come. When the octagon door closes for tonight's super fight, the talk will be over. And the entire sports world will come to a halt. This is no ordinary fight. It's a battle between two champions, willing to put their own divisional crowns on the line to prove themselves worthy to be on top. And when the dust settles, there can only be one winner, a king with two crowns. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. All right, so here we go with this epic fight, one of the biggest fights in UFC history, given what is at stake. Here comes the UFC champion trying to add another title in a second division simultaneously. Doesn't happen every day, folks. We could all witness history here tonight. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. joined a long list of Hall of Fame types. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now we you see the champion fighting out of the right corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 30 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed light heavyweight champion, Daniel D.C. This is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time. Ready, go. Ready. You ready? 
All right, here we go. Doesn't get much. Oh! He hurt him with that hook. First. Yeah, Joe, we're just getting going, and there's the end of the fight. So it's a win by first round knockout. Near perfect on the technique. I'm not even sure his opponent saw that thing coming. And really, before his opponent had a chance to get in the fight at all and land anything in terms of a significant strike, he was knocked out. So major, major transpiration here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Great angle here. Boom. So he did it. Unbelievable. He wins the super fight and makes UFC history by joining a select few in becoming a two-division UFC champion. His future is in the Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Masaki is going to stop for this contest at 17 seconds in the very first round. To play the winner by knockout and move. Second waist, put a belt over his shoulder. He has become a two-division UFC champion here tonight. Rarified air. Only a select handful of guys in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship have won a belt in two divisions, and you can add his name to that list. Absolutely incredible what he accomplished in this arena here tonight. Megan Olivia, and this is your UFC Minute. Remember when we were telling you that you shouldn't miss this past weekend's monumental super fight? I hate to be that person, but we told you so. The fans were buzzing, the world was watching, and the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan was at capacity last weekend when the UFC middleweight champion challenged the light heavyweight title holder in an epic super fight. When it was over, he had silenced the critics and made history as one of only a handful of fighters to become a world champion in two weight classes. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights.